Good morning and welcome to worship. I'm Reverend Sarah Wheatley, Reverend Marsha, the rest of the worship leadership team, and I would like to extend a very warm welcome to you, whether you're here in the sanctuary, you're worshiping online, the spirit of the living Christ unites us all in worship. I hope that you'll take an opportunity to find the connection card in your bulletin, or if you're online, there's a form for you to fill out there too. Let us know that you're here today, and on the back, if you plan on attending the midweek dinner on Wednesday, or if you have any prayer requests, indicate that on the reverse side as well. Later, when we collect the offering, you'll place this card in the offering plate as an offering of your presence and your prayers. Today, we have a special activity gathering after our service of worship. Down in the fellowship hall, everyone is invited for a fall festival, which is outreach themed. So you'll see all the outreach ministries of our congregation featured downstairs. Each one will have a booth where you can participate in an activity. I think there's some prizes, kids to win. There's also going to be slushies and walking tacos. So, oh, snow cones, not slushies. Very important distinction. So we hope that everyone here will join us downstairs, even if it's just get to get some uh, donuts and food and nourishment. Um, I feel energized to see all the ways that our church is in outreach, in ministry with the community, and I hope you'll feel energized witnessing that as well. If you're with us for the first time today, very warm welcome to you. I hope that you will not only fill out the connection card, but you'll uh, make your presence known to us at the end of the service so that we can greet you more personally. With that, everyone, let's rise and sing our opening song, which can be found in your black songbook if you'd like the notes. whatever you do. We'll recognize this tune. It's Away in a Manger. <laughs> with me please in our call to worship come followers of christ called to live out the mission of love and compassion we gather to serve 
to lift up the broken, to welcome the stranger, and to share God's grace. Jesus said, whatever you did for the least of these, you did for me. Today we come ready to see Christ in the faces of those in need. We come ready to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and care for the sick. Let us worship the God who calls us into mission and sends us out to be his hands and feet in the world. Together, we answer the call of Jesus to be people of justice, mercy, compassion, and love. Let us continue. Once again, good morning. We're so glad to see you. Um, this morning, as you greet your neighbor um, and welcome them here, I want you to tell them what your favorite Beatles song is. We're so glad to see such a lively crowd. It sounded like there was some good debate out there. So, My name is Rachel Lunning. I'm the Children and Family Ministries Director here at First United Methodist Church. And um, I just wanted to highlight some of the announcements, some of the things that we have coming up here. Um, as always, you can find everything going on uh, in the next couple of months in your order of worship or online on our website or on the church app. Um, so first of all, you heard Pastor Sarah talking about our autumn outreach fair today. If you were worried that we wouldn't have donuts because it's not our normal connection time, have no fear. There are still donuts that you can purchase downstairs in addition to the walking tacos and the snow cones and all the other good things that are going on. So make sure you check that out. It is directly after worship today downstairs in the fellowship hall. Also today um, is our Crop Walk for Hunger. We're joining that. It starts today at 1 o'clock at Bicentennial Park in Livonia. Um, the, crop, the Crop Hunger Walk raises funds to provide meals for those who need them in local communities. Um, and it supports programs that create greater food security all around the world. So you can either um, support that by walking or by donating. There will be a table today at the outreach fair so, um, for the Crop Walk. So if you want to learn more about that. Um, you can stop by that table. Uh, coming up tomorrow is our senior lunch bunch. So if you would like to have lunch, um, you can meet them at the Sports Den in Northville at 1 p.m. Um, and it's just a nice chance to get together and have some fellowship time and visit with each other. And starting next Sunday, um, we have a new class. It's called Making Sense of the Bible. It is based on uh, Reverend Adam Hamilton's book, Making Sense of the Bible, Rediscovering the Power of Scripture Today. Um, so the class is designed to help you understand this book and um, your questions and conflicts about the Bible and open your eyes to a faith that works for both your heart and your brain. Um, so you can register for that um, on the church website or the church app. And if you have questions, you can contact Mark Lumley. There you are. 
I was like, I know he's around here somewhere. So you can talk to Mark Lumley if you're interested in that. And that will be Sunday starting next Sunday from 11.15 to 12.30. And it's hybrid. So if you want to do it here, you can. If you want to do it online, you can. Perfect. And lastly, um, we are starting to collect items for our College Connect care bags. Say that five times fast. Um, so if you are interested in either helping to donate items or pack bags or volunteer to drive to drop those items off, it's a really um, great touch point for our college students who um, need some, sometimes need a little extra love in the fall. Um, so we like to give them these bags full of lots of goodies during this time of the year. So if you are interested in any of that, you can uh, talk to Tracy Ortlieb um, about it after church. That's all I want to highlight for you this morning. At this time, I'm going to invite our choir and our children's choir forward. We're going to um, sing a special song together this morning. Our song today. There we are, okay. And so as they get ready, um, let me share with you, um, as we have been doing each week, uh, some of the backstory behind this Beatles song for today. For many, help is now the definitive Lennon anthem. We think it's one of the best we've written, said John Lennon in 1965, as he contemplated on the band's recent single, which was a commissioned track for their new film, Help. Taking notes from the film's title, there's a good chance that this song could have easily passed fans by, but digging only a little deeper, it quickly became prevalent that this was Lennon's most personal song to date. Lennon clarifies his point. It was just me singing help, and I meant it, you know. I don't like the recording that much, the song I like. We did it too fast to try and be commercial. But when help came out, I was actually crying out for help. Most people think it's just a fast rock and roll song. I didn't realize it at the time. I just wrote the song because I was commissioned to write it for the movie. But later, I knew I really was crying out for help. It was a moment when Lennon's old personality, his old way of being, was beginning to lose out to the pop star the band had created. With the benefit of hindsight, it was clear to Lennon that something was wrong, a notion shared by his friend and songwriting partner, Paul McCartney. You know, McCartney said, John wrote, help, I need somebody. And I thought, well, it's just a song. But it turned out to be a cry for help. The song has gone on to not only rank highly among the Beatles' best, but also among Lennon's most heartfelt performances. Help.
much choir and kids choir as well who's been practicing on Wednesday evenings. We also have our, our youth choir to be starting up today as well. If you are in kindergarten through 12th grade, I invite you to head to Sunday school. And the rest of us will begin our prayer song, Let It Be. When I find myself in times of trouble, graciously God comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, God is standing right in front of me. There will be an answer, let it be. Let it be. with me. God who listens, scripture encourages us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And so we do come to you in our anxieties and our hopes, asking for your help as we lift up the needs of the world those we know, those who are strangers to us, and even ourselves. We thank you for the many organizations we partner with that help us to live out our faith and seek the kingdom here on earth. God, the stories of Jesus show us how much you care about physical needs, and so we ask for your help in meeting the physical needs of people. Hunger and thirst and nutrition, access to doctors and medicines, jobs that provide enough income to support a family and allow for rest within a week, safe and warm shelter, and a place to live without fear of violence or harm, disaster or being uprooted. And for each of these stories about Jesus meeting physical needs, there was an aspect of spiritual care too. Tend to the spirituality of your people, God. Reassure all of us how much you love your children in a way that can never be taken away. Create communities of belonging where people aren't forgotten and are celebrated. Raise up mentors who invest in others' lives. Connect us to a deeper purpose and reason to wake up each morning with gratitude and a heart of service. And we ask that you fill us with peace, contentment, and freedom to choose kindness and generosity. As we gather this morning, God, help us meditate on the reality that when we serve others, we are actually encountering you. And let that truth spur us on to be helpers in your name. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, our brother, as we offer his prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer.
we on the worship leadership team love lifting up ways that this congregation is already involved in giving their gifts and um, their talents and their presence to outreach ministries and ministries within this church. So while we're focused today on outreach with our fall festival and our help theme, I want you to know that this celebration began actually on Friday. We had a wonderful rock concert in the parking lot of the church. We had two church members who are a part of a band and they lent their time and talents. Um, and we had over, we raised over $1,100 um, to go to Civic Concern. Yes. <laughs> That, that, that uh, the funds raised will be split between the Living and Learning Center in Northville and Northville Civic Concern. So your gifts are already going to help the community and you'll get a chance to interact with those organizations downstairs as well. And we wanna celebrate that while we had a great contingency from our church who was present there, we also had a lot of uh, neighbors, friends of the band, people from the Living and Learning Center as well. We had over about 100 people um, that were gathered on Friday night. So thank you for coming out and for um, donating funds for a good cause and for all your help in preparing that. It's a joy to be in relationship and fellowship with our community. And so with that, um, I'll ask that you turn in your connection card as an offering along with any offerings and tithes that you would um, give to the church's ministries and outreach. Ushers, please collect our offerings. Thank you. my ears, my voice, my eyes, so you can use them as you please. I have emptied out my cup so that you can fill me up. 
now I'm free. I just want to be more available to you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say to you. Show someone your way and enable me to say, My storage is empty and I am available to you. My storage is empty, and I am available to you. I am Lord. Here I am. I give all myself to you. Here I am. Here I am, Lord. Here I am. here below. Alleluia, alleluia. Praise God, the source of all our gifts. Praise Jesus Christ, whose power uplifts. Praise the Spirit, Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. Oh God, thank you for helping us in all things. We pray that our gifts honor you and your care for your people. As we offer our many gifts and our presence in prayers, we make ourselves available to you. May we be changed through our offering, discovering that we are helped even as we help others. Amen. Please be seated. There are those days when your preacher would like to just say amen and let's go home. <clears throat> We continue in our worship, hearing first from the 19th chapter of Proverbs. 
Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and will be repaid in full. And then this well-known passage from the 25th chapter of Matthew. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. This is the word of God for all God's people. Thanks be to God. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of each one of our hearts be found pleasing and acceptable to you this day. For we claim you, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. And so today, as we come to the end of our Come Together series, today as we gather for our outreach festival, We're going to spend a few moments reflecting on the theme that resonates through time and across generations, the need for help, the call to compassion, and the beauty of service. And the Beatles' iconic song, Help, is the perfect song to fit with our series for today. Help, I need somebody. Help not just anybody, help, you know I need someone, help, help. When I was younger, so much younger than today, I never needed anybody to help in any way. But now those days are gone and I'm not so self-assured. Now I find that I've changed my mind and I've opened up the doors. So help me if you can, I'm feeling down, and I do appreciate you being round. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you please, please help me? The Beatles' song, Help, was released at a time when the world was rapidly changing, and its lyrics reflect a deep longing for assistance and understanding. The composer calls out, help, I need somebody, help, not just anybody. And it's a plea that encapsulates our human experience, acknowledging our vulnerability and the importance of community. When John Lennon sings, help, I need somebody, it reflects a deep human experience the realization that we are not meant to journey through life alone. We often find ourselves at a crossroads where we need support and encouragement and a helping hand. How often do we echo that cry? Whether it's during times of personal struggle, times of illness, or simply feeling lost, We all reach those moments when we need someone to come alongside of us. In this society where we value our independence, we don't like being in a position of needing help, do we? But it's a reminder that acknowledging our need for help is not a sign of weakness, but rather a reflection of our shared humanity. At times of natural disaster, like the recent hurricanes ravaging Florida, North Carolina, and surrounding areas, it's our sense of shared humanity that has us sending help and resources to aid in the cleanup and restoration. As United Methodists, we have UMCOR, the United Methodist Committee on Relief, and I encourage us all to consider giving with the reminder that 100% of what we give 
goes directly to help. In Matthew 25, we find Jesus teaching about the final judgment when he says, Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or naked, needing clothes to clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go visit you? And the king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you did for me. This passage reminds us of the inherent value of each person, particularly those in need. When we extend help to others, we are in essence serving Christ himself. Here Jesus calls us to recognize that our actions toward the marginalized, the hungry, the thirsty, and the forgotten are not just acts of charity, but they're acts of faith. Here Jesus teaches us that serving others is a reflection of our love for him. It challenges us to recognize Christ in the faces of those who are struggling, those who are crying out for help. When we hear the plea for help, it's not just a personal cry. It's a call to action. Jesus invites us to be his hands and feet in the world today. When we provide assistance and compassion, love to those around us, we're responding to a deeper call, one that acknowledges our shared humanity and the presence of Christ in each and every one we encounter. Just as the Beatles song implores us for help, Jesus instructs us to be the hands and feet of compassion in the world. Our response to those in need is not just a social responsibility, but a spiritual calling. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. Help me get my feet back on the ground. When we encounter someone struggling, it's an opportunity for us to respond, just as we might hope someone would respond to us in our time of need. The call for help is not only a plea for ourselves, but it's an invitation to participate in the healing and support of others. Imagine what our world would look like if we each took this calling seriously. When we see someone struggling, be it a neighbor facing financial hardship or a friend battling illness, or a stranger feeling isolated, we have a choice. We can extend a hand, offer a listening ear, or simply be present. Consider how you might answer that call in your own life. Are there people in this community who need support? Are there ways that you can show up for those who feel alone or burdened? Just as John Lennon reaches out with his cry for help, you and I too can be voices of support. We can create a ripple effect of compassion that echoes throughout our community and into the world. As we reflect on the message of help, and as we reflect on the teachings of Jesus, let's remember that our faith is not merely about personal salvation, but also about communal responsibility. It's about recognizing the Christ in others and responding to their needs. That's what today's outreach fair is all about. I do hope you're planning to spend some time following this service to visit the various booths to celebrate the missions we support and to learn more about where you can be of service to others. 
Just as this Beatles song about needing help, let's, op let's open our eyes to the needs in our community. Who around us is struggling? Are there ways we can offer support? Friends, as a community, we can cultivate an environment where seeking help is encouraged and offering help is celebrated. We can break down the barriers that prevent us from reaching out to one another. So I invite us to take the plea of help to heart. It's a reminder of our vulnerability and of the necessity for community. As we strive to serve others, let's remember that every act of kindness has us honoring Christ himself. May we embody the love and compassion of Jesus, helping one another in our times of need and creating a world where everyone feels seen, valued, and supported. As we respond to the cries of help around us, we fulfill Christ's command to serve one another. Let's commit to being the hands and feet of Jesus in our community, making a meaningful difference in the lives of those who are struggling. Together, we can create a culture of compassion, a culture of support that reflects God's love to all. And let us pray for the wisdom to see where we can help and to have the courage to act. May we be a community that not only acknowledges our need for help on occasion, but also embraces our call to be helpers in the world. And as we go forth, let us carry the spirit of this Beatles song with us. A reminder that we are all in this together and that together we can make a difference. So let us go forth, not just singing help, but truly living it, being the help that the world so desperately needs. Will you pray with me? May our coming together be for good, gracious God. Together, may we serve you in mighty ways. Help us to use our eyes and ears to listen and to see the needs of others. And then may we be the very hands and feet of Christ, equipped and ready to truly help one another. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Our closing song is a song of commission. The Spirit sends us forth to serve. Let us stand and sing together.
so my friends, once again, I invite you to continue your journeys walking in love. Continue to care for one another and to seek peace. Go forth from this place knowing that God goes with you and indeed has gone before. So live boldly and celebrate the life you've been given in the name of Christ. Let's sing it like we mean it as we go forth from this place to do all the good we can. Amen. Do all the good you can by all the means you can in all the ways you can in all the places you can at all Yeah.